Stull D9S Pro vs. Launch X431 Pro 3 ACE, Pro 3 Apex. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, your ultimate hub for automobile diagnostic tools and programmers. Smash that subscribe button, hit the bell, and show some love with a super thanks. Here we have a side-by-side -side comparison with the Launch X431 Pro 3 ACE, exactly the same as Pro 3 Apex, and the Stull D9S Pro. Then you can make a decision about which scanner is right for you. The launch has a 10.1-inch screen, the Stull has 9.7-inch screen, and both run Android 10 system. Launch has a 2.2GB 4-core processor, while the Stull has a 1.8GB 4-core processor. The resolution on the launch is 1280 times 800 resolution on the Stull, is 1024 times 768 The launch has 4GB of RAM and 64GB of ROM. Now the Stull has 4GB of RAM, 128GB of ROM. They both have 8 megapixel rear cameras. Stull D9S Pro vs. Launch X431 Pro Ace 1. The launch says it will go all the way back to 1984 year. It does come with some adapters. It does come with a wide variety of different connectors for the older OBD1 plugs. The Stull goes to 1996 and forwards. On the launch is 6300 milliamp. The battery on the Stull is 6400 milliamp. They both have about 41 to 42 special functions or service functions. They both have topology. The Launch and D9S Pro both are FCA or Auto Auto compatible. If you have a newer vehicle than 2018, that's a Dodge, Fiat, or Chrysler, you might keep that in mind because the Launch and Stull will allow you to sign up with the AutoAuth website and you will be able to connect this tool to it and do everything that you normally do. They both are CAN-FD and DUIP compatible. They both have VAG guided function for BMW and VG. They both have kickstands. They'll both activate hidden and high-end functions. So there's a lot of features on some of these modern cars that you have to have a scan tool to be able to turn them on and off, and either of these scan tools will do that. They both will program keys. Now the Stull excels at key programming, especially pulling the pin code and passwords. The launch will do that too, but it's a little bit limited, and you will need to activate extra IMMO software license to the launch. Launch will pull PIN codes and password on Nissan, but no luck on Chrysler. With Launch, you will get two years free updates. With the Stull, you get three years free updates. Let's start with the VCI. Both these VCIs are updated VCIs. They are quite a bit bigger than the old VCIs. Stull D9S Pro versus Launch X431 Pro Ace 2. They are upgradable, meaning that you can upgrade the firmware in them. Stull D9 Pro VCI, you got power lights, input, output voltage, vehicle power lights, and that's on both sides. You can watch these lights to see if there's some communication going on and see if it is powered up. The Stull VCI has a little digital display that pops out. Launch has DeepScar 7 VCI. Both the cords on these are about the same length. The Stull is about one inch longer. Let's check the tablet again. You got your power button on the launch. You've got a USB-C and USB-A on top of the launch for connecting accessories. The stool is physically a little bit bigger, as you can see. On the top is a USB-C connector. Then let's see how fast they will boot. Push the button and hold for about 3 or 4 seconds. The launch does not automatically start the diagnostic program. We are going to tap the diagnostic button. If you're connected to the internet, it automatically establishes that internet-internet connection, so does the stool. So the launch is a little bit quicker, getting completely booted up and ready to use. But the stool is not far behind. If you're connect to the internet over here on the launch, you can use this intelligent diagnose. If you're not connected, use the local diagnose. We'll just walk through the service functions real quick. Then we will go to special functions. On the stool, you can see it's got a key programming right there. Launch doesn't have that, but you can go into the module. It has got the key programming right there in the module. Stool D9S Pro versus Launch X431 Pro Ace 4. They both got a remote control diagnosis, that's where if you are having an issue with the scan tool itself stool or launch, can remote in and see if then can figure out what his problem is. Launch has a TPMS button right here. It also got an ADAS button right here. On the launch, you also got a shopping mall where you can buy additional software for this and upgrade the software whenever it finally expires. Stool D9S Pro versus Launch X431 Pro Ace 5. Let's go over to EV. This is all the EVs you have got Tesla. If you have a Tesla, you might take a look at the launch. It has Tesla support. If you got motorcycles, you can also buy motor software for X431. You can go to vehicle coverage on the launch to see what this scan tool will cover and what all functions you will have. Stull software is a lot more basic than launch software. 
On launch, you have many option modules, multimeter, oscilloscope, battery tester, videoscope. Stull does not have that much. Stull D9S Pro versus Launch X431 Pro A6. Stull D9S Pro versus Launch X431 Pro A7. Stull D9S Pro versus Launch X431 Pro A8. Stull D9S Pro versus Launch X431 Pro A9. That's hook Stull to vehicle. Stull typically doesn't show the voltage here in the upper, right the way the launch does. Let's go over to actuation test on both. They're probably going to be identical. Both these tools have been very good at actually been able to control whatever you're needing to control. No complaints. Stull D9S Pro versus Launch X431 Pro Ace 13. Stull has got some nice graphing. What I like about the Stull, my Autl has the same feature. When selecting PIDs for live data, Stull and Autl show the data PID and the current live data value. The Launch only shows the data PID. Stull D9S Pro versus Launch X431 Pro Ace 14. The biggest difference between these two scanners is that Stull has the XVCI, which has built-in BMW and Ben's online programming database. The XVCI Plus can also be used as pass-through J2534 for OEM programming with online subscription. Pro 3 ACE slash Pro 3 Apex DBSCAR 7 does not support online programming. DBSCAR 7 cannot be used as J2534 pass-through. Both these tools cannot do 24V heavy duty. For launch, you need Pro 3S Plus and more advanced tablet to add truck module. For Stull, you need a separate D9 HD tablet. They both support topology mapping. Launch is faster than Stull for scanning all modules. Stull D9S Pro versus Launch X431 Pro Ace 11. Both of them do nice reports. If you have a Wi-Fi printer, you can print straight from these scan tools. In sum, they have similar functions. Launch X431 scans fast, software is better, and it supports more add-on modules. Still better on IMMO keys functions. Software is simple, less optional functions. But it supports online programming. Depends on your needs. If need to diagnose EVs, motorcycles, choose Launch X431. If does regular vehicles and need to do a lot of keys, go for Stull D9S Pro. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, and hit that super thanks button. Until next time, happy diagnosing.